guys. This video isn't going to be exactly like my usual videos. Um, I've just been really excited about something recently. I nerd about it nerd out about stuff and I kind of wanted to share how I've set up my phone to automatically back itself up on a schedule and I thought I would share that with you. If you're not interested in that, that's fine. Stay subscribed because there's going to be a new planner video on Thursday um, and new videos every Thursday and Sunday. So I'll see you in those, okay? If you're here all about Android, let's check this out. Um, if you know anything about like um, updating your phone, if you've ever changed to a new ROM, then you'll probably know what I'm talking about. If I don't make this accessible enough, questions go down in comments and I will answer everything as best I can and point you to better people who know more than I do. But basically, uh, I have my phone set up to back up and I actually don't um, have these backed up automatically to the cloud in the way that each app wants you to. So that's the twist. You'll see that at the end. Let's start at the top. I'm using Nova Launcher, um, and so I will show you how that backs itself up. There's straight a setting inside the settings for the launcher back up right here. So you can back up like the whole thing. You want to make sure you select document storage. If you select device storage, it saves to saves to its own. Um, location on the phone, which is great. It makes it really easy to find again. Um, but I make sure to save it to a specific folder. So I click document storage. Then when I press OK, I want to make sure that I'm selecting this particular folder that I have set up called backup. Um, you'll see there's a lot of stuff in here. You'll figure out what that's for in a minute. Um, but basically I save my backup to this backup folder, save, great. And then whenever I want to restore, I just have to navigate there by clicking browse here and we're good. I'm not going to do that right now because it messes up my widgets. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. So the next thing, um, this app also updates or backs itself up automatically. Well, Nova I have to back up manually. That's the one issue with this system is that it doesn't have an automatic backup. So basically I have to remember every time to, I make significant changes to my launcher to, uh, to back it up. Otherwise I might lose some changes. So for my podcast, this is the app I use, Podcast Addict. It's awesome. I have the paid version because I like it so much. Um, if you go here to settings at the bottom, you'll see backup room restore it has its own settings as well so there's a full backup I do do that um, like once I set up my new phone um, or maybe every so often that I do manually same as Nova but it actually does an automatic backup here which basically backs up the state of all of your subscriptions um, like your where you're saved in um, the playback of a particular episode, which episodes you've listened to, and which feeds you've got on your library. All of that is saved into this backup and it generates that backup every single time it changes. And so I also have that set up here to save to the same um, folder as the Nova one. So it's saved to the same backup folder. That's great. The next step, um, there's certain apps, like I have a game that I play that backs up all my data to my Facebook account. That's great. But the thing that's important to know is that it backs that up, like it, it syncs with the account when the game loads. So if I'm going to, like I know that I'm going to make changes to my phone, it's not like it's bricking itself randomly. If I'm upgrading my ROM or something, I uh, make sure to close the app and then open it again after I'm done with it so that I don't lose any of those last minute changes because you know those timers. Oh gosh, I'm addicted to these games. Next very important step is SMS backup and restore. This is for all of your text messages and call history. This app does MMS as well, which is useful because your SMS history and your call history do get saved to your Google backups. I don't rely on that though. and. I've, you know, if you look back in history and you see all your saved SMS, but you don't have the pictures associated with it that were sent, it's a little bit confusing. So this one saves MMS as well. So that's useful. And then um, I have that set up to go every morning at 1 a.m. 
it backs up locally. You'll notice here it's complaining about that fact. Backing up locally isn't safe. Change location. I previously had it backing up to Google Drive, which is fine, except when it doesn't work. And it feels like it doesn't work more often than I'd like. So I have it backed up locally to that exact same backup folder. And I will show you how I managed to sync it off my phone in a minute. We are getting there. Um, the next thing I have set up, this isn't a backup, but it is a schedule. So I have it on the same schedule that I keep in a note um, that is on my phone also. This is what I'm looking at over here. Um, this is an app called SD Made, and it basically just will go through and um, like find old temp files that your apps don't need and it has like a storage analyzer, a, a duplicate deleter, and you can just free up space on your phone, keep it moving a little bit faster. Um, and so I find this super useful and I, it also has a, a scheduler. So I have it set to go, I believe every three days. Yeah, every three days at two in the morning, it'll go through and get rid of files that I don't need anymore. Um, so that's just something that's set up, but notice that all of that, I don't wanna to have to reset that timer every single time I lose my data. So all important, the ever mighty titanium backup and restore. If you're familiar with flashing ROMs, I'm sure you're familiar with this app or at least have heard of it. It does require root, but if you have updated your phone to a different system, probably already have root or you can get it easily because you've unlocked your bootloader. So I have only, what, eight apps here on my list that get backed up in Titanium. The rest either don't matter or they back themselves up to the cloud automatically, or I just don't need those files, or there's no data that's super useful and necessary. Um, my Google Play account keeps track of which apps I have installed and generally will install them by default as soon as you get a new phone anyway. So a lot of things you actually don't have to worry about. Um, but these are a few. So let's go from the bottom up. Um, this is the uh, the baby monitor app. And basically I just don't wanna have to remember the password to get into the camera. So I just have the settings backed up here. Textra is the text messaging app I use and I don't wanna have to change the settings. It's really like, I like the color settings I've got on there and the notification sounds and all of that. And I don't wanna lose that. So that one gets backed up. Um, let me see, which one is it set to? My filters are the pink ones get backed up every day and the blue ones get backed up every two weeks. Um, so I have my SMS backup and restore. The app itself is backed up so that that schedule doesn't get lost. The SD made as well, the schedule there. Podcast addict so that that schedule, anything that's backing up, I have a backup of the app so that I can restore all of the backing up settings, if that makes sense. Uh, Nova Launcher also, I don't know if that matters or not. The thought is that if Nova's own backup fails, then maybe Titanium's will help. Um, and then my data manager um, is the app that you can see up here in the notification. It tells me how much of my high-speed data I've used every month. And then this very last one at the top is the one we're talking about today. It's called Drive Sync and it is making this whole system possible. I really love it. I've actually been using it for a while, but only recently moved all of my backups over to it. So you'll see here, there's an ad in the middle because um, I'm on the paid, uh, the, sorry, the free version. There is a paid version that allows you to sync multiple folders, subfolders, stuff like that. I, I don't find that necessary. So I just have the basic free version that allows you to take one folder on your phone, one folder in your Google Drive and keep those current with each other. Um, and that's basically what I do. I've got my backup folder on my phone here, which I've already showed you. And I can show you, excuse me, show you my drive where I have the Android backups folder. And that you'll see has all of the same files that we just looked at. I also use it to transfer files back and forth from like my computer to my phone if I need to. You'll see I've got my, um, some ringtones in here as well so that I don't have to keep looking for those. Most of the stuff in storage um, either is available offline. Like, oh, that's the other thing. Definitely use Google Photos um, because this keeps everything automatically backed up and you don't have to look at all of my photos. Um, 
that's automatic. A lot of the Google apps are great, but if you can't use Google apps, use Titanium Backup and Drive Sync. And that's basically all I have to do. It stays open. It has this um, persistent notification that keeps it open. And every single time, I keep getting that notification, every single time there are changes to the backup folder or to the one on Google Drive, it will sync them. And so I know that uh, whenever I need to make changes or if something were to happen to my phone, if I were to lose it, if I were to somehow drop it in water or if it get, got bricked some other way, basically if I flash an OTA update and it does something wrong to my phone, I never have to worry about losing all of my data. And if I'm going to flash a new ROM, I know exactly which apps have already been backed up, which ones need to be backed up. And I just confirm that all of these files are up to date, that they're current. And then I know that I don't have to worry that I've already set up everything in advance because so many times I've backed up my phone before switching to a ROM and I probably missed something. I've lost data along the way. Um, and I never made a list of all of the apps that I was updating until now. I finally have that schedule that I keep in a note on my phone so that I know what to check to make sure everything is still running periodically. But basically I don't have to worry about it. So that is all I wanted to show you today. I am not usually a Android video person, but if you found me because of this video, um, just know that that's this is not my usual jam. Usually I post videos about paper planning and about um, my one-year-old daughter and our family life and stuff like that. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and subscribe below. I post videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you didn't find this video interesting, then that's great. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave comments. Um, and I will try to clarify anything that I can for you. And if you are like, where's the planner stuff? That's coming in next Thursday's video is going to be, I believe I'm going to be talking about planner stuff I don't do. So look forward to that. And I will see you in that video on Thursday. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.